Good evening, guys. Mello's up on the hill. The kids take the Paige and Jared take the other two dogs to the park. He's too old to be walking around the park, so I just bring him out here and let him roam on the long line. Goes all the way out to there. He just comes to the hill and sits down. So, guys, I have a subscriber ask how we mark. Do I have a video on marking out beds? How do I put new beds onto a property? And how to do all that fun stuff. I do have videos explaining. I'll let you guys see some of the garden while I'm watching. I do have videos explaining how I do that. Um, but I don't know the names of the videos. I don't put specifically how to do it. So I will do it in this one since I spade out everything. If you come over here to the heart garden, this is already kind of outlined. I've done it this year. I just didn't get into detail and in cleaning it all out. So I'll show you in the video. What I do is I flip my weed eater, mark out the edge, and then I'll come in here with the spade shovel and clean all these weeds out. Now up by the house, near the big tree up there, I don't have any beds established. I did it long time ago, but grass has grown in. I'll show you guys some techniques that I use to mark out new beds. Um, there's a couple ways you could take a garden hose and lay it out. I'll show you that way or you can do it how I do it, which you have to have a little more experience or be good at picking something up pretty quick. Because I do a lot of mine with the weed eater and by edge to mark them all out. I don't use paint or anything, but I will show you how to do that. So let me get set up here and show you how I do things. And hopefully it helps some of you guys. And I'll title the video um, something like how to mark out new mulch beds on a property or something like that. We'll see. But you having fun out here? Look at that view. I gotta say, I love where we live here in um, Asheville. Actually, a little south of Asheville, but the mountains out here are just beautiful. Okay, guys. So, first thing I do when coming up to a bed is I'll grab my little nifty string trimmer here. Right? <clears throat> this is an FS... 111R. I like this trimmer. I don't like the string I have in it. It's the quiet line from Still. Um, I like the stuff that's solid, doesn't have the grooves in it. And I use that when I come up. So the first thing I'll do is I'll go around and I'll fan edge all this. You notice how the grass is long? I'll come over here and I'll go. And this isn't the prettiest grass. Okay, so I got all that done. So now what I do is I follow this line here because it's an established bed already. So it's pretty easy to follow. So all I do is I always go this way with my trimmer. You see how the head's spinning to where it's going down? Now, if you don't have a guard on, you might not want to do it this way, but this cuts in the best. It's better than going this way. It's better to go this way. You can see what you're doing. And you can follow your line. I gotta make sure there's no cars. This is a busy road. So see, I followed my line. Just like that. Okay, so you've seen me mark you seen me mark that out. This is already done, so I won't record me doing this part, it'll be on that. I want to save the GoPro to show you guys how to actually when it came to this, all you have to do when I went and did this bed, you kind of kind of just take your weed eater. You don't need to do paint, grass grows back. So if you take your weed eater and hold it to the side like I did there around the edge, you can mark out a new bed anywhere. Here, I'll show you real quick. Now watch, if I wanted to make a heart-shaped bed here, I can just do this. Right, this.
And now it's not a perfect heart. I would step back here and you see how that part's wider. I would come back out and go. I would just come back out and do that. See how it looks more like a heart. And the good thing about this guys is you can step back and make any shape you want or not do it at all. And next week that grass will grow back in perfectly fine. You're not going to hurt the grass. Like, but if you, that's how I do my, like, that's how I did the heart. Hopefully you guys can actually see that. So you can mark the grass with your trimmer on the side and be perfectly fine. Even if you mess up your line and you have to go, like say here, say I was coming around this edge here, right? And I went like this by accident. Oh, oops, I messed up. No, you can keep going around. And next week that spot will be grown in and you'll never know you did that. So don't be afraid to use the trimmer to mark out your beds. Okay, I'm gonna mess with this and then I'll take you guys up there to... You technically don't need a measuring tape or anything unless you want to. So what I do is hopefully you guys can see me. I find the edge of the wall of the house, right? And then I do this. One, two, three, four and if you want it to come out five i'm gonna go five because i have these irises or something here that i want to take out count out five turn around with your spade shovel and just dig a huge chunk out just like that right throw it into the bed or put it in a wheelbarrow which i should have done okay so that's one i went five steps out if you have smaller feet you can go six seven if you want your beds to be less you go four and for me that would probably be about a three four foot bed this camille died i never transplanted it back i should have so then all you do is you move down from your step go out one two three four five that's not a live one right put your shovel just like that spade it in dig it up if you have to cut it back like that so you're not fighting with it i don't want to mess these up i want to actually pull them out and transplant them somewhere else so now i have two oh he's barking mellow is so i have two there let me go down here just one more right so you'll get the idea so once again I come out one two three so once again I come out one two three four five don't mind Mello in the background he barks at every car that goes by and then I'll come in and I'll spade across like that and if you want to be able to see what you're doing better, you should actually do this. Don't mind, I got to work around the dog's long line. So the first thing I should have told you guys to do is come in here and either mow this down or weed eat it all flat. Okay, so now that I have it flat like that, so I can actually see what I'm doing here. You can see what I'm doing here, like putting these straight edges and then you can follow the line. But I'll show you another way if you're not really 100% with the string trimmer. So I'm going to come over here and do one more out. Hopefully it makes it past the rose bush. One, two, three four five then spade 
These are, as you can see, I'm hitting roots and everything. Don't be afraid to cut through them. Okay, so that's another line. What you doing, Mello? So you get the idea. Then you could just take this if you want to follow this. Mello's got to get out of it. If you want to, you can follow this the best you can and start spading it out just like this, all the way down and around. Same thing when it comes to a tree ring. If you want a better circle, you just bring your hose around like this. Hose is probably the easiest. And the more rigid the hose, the better, better it is. So you would take this hose and you would come around here. And now this isn't the way I do it, but you would come around here and you would do this to get your best outline, right? Now it's not the prettiest, when it comes to curves for me, what I do is, I'll actually show you what I actually do, but, and you can try doing this. You know, you take this tree here, right? You see the tree here? And the tree's pretty round for the most part. So what I would do is go one, two, three, four. I'm gonna go four, and half my foot. Yeah, I know I need new shoes. Then you would come here, put your spade mark here, right? Who cares where it goes? Then you do this again. One, two, three, four, and a half. I'm a half here. Spade it out just like that. You could paint lines, but same thing. Put your foot all the way to the back of the tree. One, two, three, four, and a half. Spade out again, just like that. And you do that all the way around the tree. Now you want to try to pick indents in the tree. You kind of don't want to go from this part here, you want to go from here, one, two, three, four, and a, oh, I'm losing my balance, and a half, right? Four and a half, four and a half, four and a half. One, two, three four and a half so I was off on that one but you can go check it every time four and a half one two three four and a half okay I'm not gonna do this whole thing all the way then what you do over here if you want these beds to be the same size I don't I'm gonna have them be four instead of five. One, two, three, four, instead of five. Spin my thing around, do this, and then spade that there, and then do two. But I will show you how I end up doing it. My way is different. Did she grab Mello? So let me unhook this long line. Where'd he end up going? I told him to Oh, okay. Let me unhook this long line. I'm not gonna unhook it, I'll throw it up in the tree. So then you can take your, this, your hose, and then follow this around like this if you want. Like this. 
then around. And then you just spade all that out, but I'll show you how I actually do it. My way is faster and easier. So what I'll do is I'll come here. Hopefully I can record this good. And my weed eater works properly. So my nifty thing I'll do is I usually do this. From the house, I'll go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And I do that all the way around. So the tree, same thing. One, two, three, four and a half. That's right. But when it comes to trees like this big around the house, I kind of eye it when I'm doing it. I don't really, when it comes to a tree in the middle of the yard, I'll... I don't think I have one I can show you in the middle of the yard, but I'll kind of give you a demonstration. But watch, I'll show you what I do. So what I do, what I do is then I play connect the dots. So then I step back, I'll look at my ring around. And if you notice around this ring, I'm a little narrow over here. I wanna go a little wider so you can come back. Remember I said you can always fix your line in the grass. Connect my line. You go remember it can be anything you can count out you can count out five steps you can take your string trimmer if you want put it against the wall like that and then pick a spot on your trimmer anywhere on your trimmer you could pick if you want the beds to be that wide put it there spade out right there with your shovel like this hopefully it's not too dark out here now take your shovel Say you wanted your beds to be right there, that wide. Just go like that. And then you take your weed eater, move it down again to the wall. Find the exact spot you did it. Remember it was right there. And then do that again right there. And then follow that line. It could be with a shovel, it could be with anything. It could be with a two by four that you put marks on that you just set against the wall. Me personally sitting here pulling out a tape measure every time you'd be killing yourself you could measure it out the first time and paint it but i wouldn't do that and then you just come right back in here and spade everything out another trick when spading is i have these and i showed it in another video if you don't have a cart to drag around with you get some five gallon buckets like these five gallon buckets here you can get them everywhere. But you take these five gallon buckets. I have so many of them. So I could put 20 around this whole house. So remember, remember what I told you about these five gallon buckets in a previous video, you take these and you spade now here's another quick trick if you mark your line go back here and do this 
if you can get to it without bumping in the house, if you backspade it, you can always dig it out much easier. And then you throw it in these buckets, guys. And then go all the way around. Of course, when you hit tree roots, it's gonna be harder. But once you do these the first year, they get easier and easier. And if your ground's too dry, you could go and water it some if you really want. That was a root. See that? Perfect edge. And if we keep going around this way, but it is getting dark out, so I don't know what you guys are gonna be able to see. Now with a house like this. Okay, so you get some people would come down the side of this house and they would run their bed in four foot come out with a little hump and back in don't do that unless there's like a tree five foot out in the yard and you're going around it don't do that with this bed i would come along this house around this tree right and then i would go all the way to almost the end i'd say to where that bucket is and I'd start curving it around and leave my big curves around the house, the corners. Now, if this house was really long, then I would come in and then do a bigger curve out and go back in and then curve around the foundation of the house if it were that long. Same thing this way. I'm going this way. This tree's really big. So to be honest with you, if I were going to, I would actually make that less of a curve here you see how that curves really sharp i would make that i'd cut it out just a little bit more so it flows a little better and it's not completely around there or you could bring this out a little more Well, guys, hopefully you enjoyed that video and it helped you out up there spading by the house doing new beds. Hopefully that helped out some of you guys. 
Uh, this is pretty good. I could have cut that a little bit more if the grass was good grass here, but this is kind of the farm area. We don't do anything as far as treating this area because I grow all the vegetables and stuff down there. But thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And remember, be happy or at least try. Have a good night.